All right, opening morning here in Estonia has done five stages. Tell me how the feeling was in the car. Tell me how the performance was this morning. To be honest, it's been uh, extremely demanding. Uh, uh, the stages, uh, the grip is constantly changing, you know, some surprises in places. It's very high speed, so a uh, lot of new sections, uh, some tricky sections. So uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a tough, tough time. Uh, end of the first stage, I actually uh, took a tire off the rim, so I got the puncture. And then after the second one, uh, for sure, we attacked to get some uh, time back. But after, uh, we just managed to get back to service, but uh, obviously, uh, we really didn't have a proper uh, spare tire anymore, so we had to manage. Can you say demanding? More demanding than you expected out there? Uh, it's definitely more demanding, yeah. The, the surface is changing uh, quite a lot and, and uh, it's giving like a very different grip. And when you're going so high speed, it's, uh, it's really hard to see, you know, where you have grip and where you don't. Change in the running order for this afternoon's loop. How do you expect the surface to be this afternoon? I guess in the first loop, actually, the road order didn't do much difference as the conditions were really nice and damp. But uh, this afternoon, we should have some more ruts and, and hopefully then the road order uh, should give us some uh, more advantage. Overall, right, happy or not so happy with the way the morning went? I'm very happy to be back here. Uh, generally happy with the car performance. So, um, yeah, I think overall uh, we are still doing quite well. Craig, what a morning you've had out there, sitting second after stage six, tremendous performance. Yeah, obviously really happy that the morning is gone. Um, it, uh, it, yeah, it all started really well, quite, found myself in quite a good rhythm already early on in the, on the first stage and just kind of carried it through for the rest of the, rest of the loop really. Uh, a little bit disappointed perhaps the last, last two stages, but I could see it in my drive and I, I just wasn't in the same rhythm as, uh, as on the previous ones, but I think it's nothing to be worried about. You know, it's difficult, isn't it, to come straight back into a World Rally car and be quick. How are you managing this? You're right on the pace, first thing. Uh, look, at I, I, I've just tried to prepare it extremely hard for this event. You know, these these shots don't come around that often and you have to try and grab, grab, grab the bull by the horns and, and uh, you know, do the best I can. So I'm obviously fighting to, to prove to myself and Paul are worthy to be in the car all the time. So, uh, you know, if I slow it around and let, every, let the world pass by, you know, I'll be sitting on the couch, so uh, I need to keep the rhythm up. Uh, but honestly, I'm just enjoying it. Everything feels good in the car and just, yeah, good fun. Quite a different road position for you, clearly, going into this afternoon's loop. Any thoughts about your road position this afternoon? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's hard to know if it's good or bad or indifferent because if you look at the stage times, there's a bit of a, bit of a mix and sometimes opening the road you can do a scratch and then sometimes at the back of the field is better so you know who knows uh, i wasn't so far behind night in the running order this uh, this morning so i was just trying to compare with him and okay it seems to be okay terry a really good morning for you out there a really strong morning for hyundai yeah uh, obviously as we can see a uh, good morning for the team uh, p123 um, obviously, I would prefer to lie in position one, um, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with my morning. I struggle a bit to, to get the confidence in the very fast. Um, to adapt, I still need to adapt a little bit to the car with the new suspension and everything. It's a, quite a different behavior from a car what I have known now since many years. Uh, but we're evaluating and going in a good way and the, and the speed is there, so I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, you know, as you say, a different feeling in the car. We know there have been some improvements, but it looks as if they're very, very positive improvements. No, definitely. I mean, um, we're able to push. Um, no major mistakes from my side. And uh, yeah, quite a decent run. I mean, um, continuously increasing a bit the speed. Um, being able to be just behind Oid uh, and Craig as well. We've done both the rally last year here in the WRC car. It's not too bad either, especially with all these uh, blind corners behind the big, big jumps. Um, it was a bit of a struggle this morning to, to really know where to place the car, but my pace notes were working well, and as I said, I, I'm satisfied. What about this afternoon? We hear that there are some pretty big ruts out there on the stages. What kind of changes might you consider for the afternoon's loop? Uh, yeah, we're going to discuss this now with the engineers, but uh, the main target is to increase the gap with Seb and Elfin behind and uh, try if we can go and catch uh, Breen.